Hello and welcome again to the another video of the IQ Civil Science Academy YouTube channel. Today, this is video about the Indian painting and it is the part first of this topic. I am Vikram Singh. I am mentor at the IQ Civil Science Academy, Guwahati. IQ Civil Science Academy, which has been reviewed as the number one civil services institute in the Northeast region in terms of high quality teaching. Before moving forward to the topic, first of all, an important information about the admission which is which has been started and new batches are from October for UPSC and State PCS 2023. It is the glimpse of some project, some prestigious government project which has been completed by IQ Civil Science Academy, including the pre-examination coaching program by the state uh, government of Assam. And another is the coaching program for T-Tribe candidate, which has been sponsored by Directorate of Welfare of T and XT Garden in 2019-20 and even in 2018-19. These are some Google reviews of the students, which is overall rating is 4.9, which is very good rating of, of the IQ Civil Science Academy. It is the elite panel of the faculty from Delhi and all over India. Uh, you can come uh, and see the institute or for any query, you can contact on these respective numbers and these are the respective persons. So moving ahead to our topic, that is Indian painting. In India, we find different type of paintings, like petroglyphs, that is rock painting, which we see pre-historic phase or era. Second, we have different kind of mural paintings, especially the Ajanta caves which we see in historic period. And especially it is also called cave paintings. Okay, these are also cave, but properly we call it as rock shelter paintings. Third are Miniature paintings, which we see in medieval India. Medieval history of India. Moreover, there are a very long list of folk paintings. Okay, we will see one by one. So, before moving forward, first take a look of an interesting fact that the first painting in India was discovered by A. C. L. Carlyle. Okay, A. C. L. Carlyle, who was the, an officer of Archaeological Survey of India, Wait, huh? 
Ya. Who was officer of ASI and he was the assistant of Alexander Cunningham, who was the director general of ESI. He discovered the painting in 1867, 12 years before the painting discovered in Spain at Sohagi Ghat. In Camur region, means Camur Hill. Which is now at Mirjapur, Uttar Pradesh. So, before moving forward, let's have a look about very important aspect which has been given in the Vasayan Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra, which is a book written on the worldly matters by the Vasayana. We, are, we find a mantra. The mantra is Rupa Bhedam Pramanam Bhavlavagna Yugam Sadrashya Varnika Bhanga Eti Chitram Shadakam means he called about Shadang. Shadang means Shad means six and Ang means limb of painting. We will do one by one, in which first is Rupa Bhed. So what is the Rupa Bhed? It is basically the variety of form. Means, if you draw a face, that face should be different person ka different person. So it is the Rupa Bhed, which you can easily recognize that who is the one or who is the one. Second is Pramana. Which is the proportion, the right proportion. In term of body, face, hand, leg, balaisa nahi hai ki kisi ke jo leg hai wo jada lambe ho gaya, hand jada lambe ho gaya. To ek jo adequate, kisi ko bhi agar aap dhang se agar properly show karna hai, to you must have the right proportion. Third is bhav. Here bhav means the luster and gleam. which provide the exact next of the portrayal. So it is bha. Next is sadrishya. So sadrishya means likeliness, likeliness of the object. Shem means likeliness of object. Jaysay Bhagavan Shiv ke saath Dhamru dikhaya jata hai. Bhagavan Vishnu ke saath Chakra dikhaya jata hai. Or Bhagavan Krishna ke saath Flute dikhaya jati hai. Toh jisko hum symbolism kya hai. Thik hai. Or in dono ke baare mein means bhaav और जो फिफ्थ पॉइंट है हमारा लवन नहीं होगा इन दोनों को
हवनिंद्र नाथ टैगोर विच वॉज अ वेरी प्रोमिनेंट पेंटर इन द मॉडर्न इरा ऑफ इंडिया उन्होंने बहुत ज्यादा इनको इन्फेसिस दिया है और वो भाव और लावण्य युगम को कहते हैं कि इट इज द लविंग मदर हु केयरिंग ऑफ द पेंट सो वट इज लावण्य युगम हमने भाव देख लिया है अब हम लावण्य युगम देखेंगे और देखते हैं कि वो क्यों कहते हैं बिकॉज लावण्य युगम रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोपर इमोशंस ओके द इमर्जन ऑफ इमोशंस ओके सो लस्टर एंड ग्लीम से और लावण्य युगम से भाव से और लावण्य युगम से यानी कलर्स की सहायता से लस्टर और ग्लीम उठा के ये दोनों चीजों को प्रेजेंट किया जाए इमोशंस के लिए डार्क लाइनिंग थिक लाइनिंग ओके थिन लाइनिंग ये कहा किस तरह होनी चाहिए ये सब अच्छे से दिखाया जाता है नेक्स्ट इज वर्णिका भाग वर्णिका मीन्स द नॉलेज ऑफ द कलर ठीक है नॉलेज ऑफ द कलर नॉलेज ऑफ द मिक्सिंग ऑफ कलर ठीक है ब्रश पैटर्न ये सब जो है आपका आता है वर्णिका भंग और ये भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि इसमें भगवान शिव माता पार्वती से एक मंत्र में कहते हैं मैं आपको प्रॉपर मंत्र बताता हूं दैट इज अ ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ मंत्र दैट इज देर इज नो नीट और कहते हैं एवरीथिंग इज फिटाइल ठीक है सिर्फ नीट की बात नहीं हो रही है एवरीथिंग इज फिटाइल वेदर इट इज द रिपीटिंग ऑफ मंत्र टेलिंग ऑफ बीज various austerities austerities and devotion unless one has gained the knowledge of varna means color the innovation in color so that is the importance of what we see in the varnika so these are the shadang of painting so basically we have seen the various prehistoric painting in various states like up mp uttarakhand andhra pradesh karnataka and bihar so one of the prominent name we found is लखुडियार लखुडियार इट इज अ कुमानियन वर्ड विच मीन्स वन लैक केव सो दीज आर बेसिकली आई हैव टोल्ड यू कुमाओ सो दैट इज इन उत्तराखंड और इट इज फाउंड एट द अल्मोड़ा बाड़ाचीना हाईवे इट इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर अहेड ऑफ अल्मोड़ा okay and we found here the various depictions various joyful depictions like you have seen it is the dancing form okay dancing form we found the two dancing portrait here first is of 38 and another side of it is we found around 24 so we found two dancing portrait here moreover we found various activities like going for hunting okay so we will see the various aspects of the lakudiar painting okay here the painting has been shown in the three categories that is men animal animal and there are different type of animals but here three are prominent as motif that one is fox second is a long 
snout animal लगता है वो बोर्ड जैसा है लेकिन स्नाउट है ओके एंड थर्ड इज मल्टीपल लेग लेजर तो इट इज द वेरस मोटिव वी फाउंड एंड थर्ड इज थर्ड कैटेगरी इज वेरियस जियोमेट्रिक मोर और वी हेयर फाउंड सुपर इम्पोजिशन ऑफ पेंटिंग हाउ सुपर इम्पोजिशन वी सी पेंटिंग ऑन पेंटिंग मे बी दीज एट डन बाई डिफरेंट जनरेशन और मे बी इट मे बी ड्यू टू द रिचर्स ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक डे ऑफ पेंटिंग बट वी फाउंड द सुपर इम्पोजिशन like we first we see the black second we see the red ochre painting and third we see the white painting okay so these are the superimposition and we found here likewise the three colors red color white color and black color or red means here is red ochre color so it was the description of lakudiar painting moreover we see the other type of paintings too like in karnataka and andhra pradesh okay especially uh, the sites are pickli hell which is a lithic site okay kopkalu and tekalkota so we find the different type of painting here like painting in white but one of interesting thing here is we found the painting on white background okay the color is red ochre but the background is white and third is the red ochre painting and in nil in lithic painting we find the various animal projections like we have elephant sambhar bulls horses okay here we also found the trident so these are the some of the examples of lithic painting we found especially the karnataka and andhra pradesh another example of prehistoric rock painting is bhimbetka bhimbetka one of the we can see the greatest example of prehistoric rock painting and this consists the rock painting from the upper paleolithic lithic is to historic is okay around 700 painting has been found and out of this 500 belongs to mesolithic phase so the bhimbetka painting has been termed as the mesolithic painting okay and it was discovered by b s वाकन का ओके एंड वर्क हैज बीन डन आल्सो बाय द आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट यशोधर मठपा इट इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ द ग्रेट बोअर ऑफ 
बेनबेट का विच यू सी दिस पार्ट इज ऑफ अ बोर्ड ओके बट दिस इज अस्नाउ लाइक ए रैनोस एंड वी फाउंड द डिफरेंट जियोमेट्रिकल पैटर्न इन द इन दिस बो we see the various depiction in the bhimbedka paintings like it is a hunting scene you have seen there the person with bow and arrow person with cap person having long coat okay the hunted animal hunted animal different geographical patterns in the animals along with that we are also seeing this picture a person carrying their children on the back of moreover we see the it is the hunter having this baby line and having different hunting objects moreover we see the fishing the extensive depiction of the fishing uh, along with arrow bow okay these are the fishing with different fishing nets moreover we see the the perfect depiction of the worldly art okay or the homely life and if we see in this painting we see these are the longer and these are the short this is the shorter one we try to show the 3d effect or the four seeing effect in the painting moreover we see the depiction of children we see the depiction of feeding of a pig we see the depiction of cooking the of food so we see the various type of depiction in the bhimbet along with it is the one of the fine example of abstract painting found at jawara near bhimbet ka so abstract painting it is said that it may be the depiction of the fire air and earth as i have told you that there may be the many purpose of the painting like it may be for the depiction of emotions depiction of art or it may be of any ritual it may be to for the burning of the char charm and evils char ministers okay so but we found the depiction uh, of abstract art in jawara okay and we also see the superimposition of painting painting in bhimbet so what does it mean we found the Twenty layer. It goes up to the twenty layer, generation to generation. It may be there may be some ritual of painting in this case. Come to the technique of this painting. Okay. Now when we come to the uh, technique of this painting, so it has various color making techniques. Okay, like for red color. they use red oxide yeah for white color they use limestone and for green color they use a stone called chalcedony okay so first day make the powder they used to make the powder of the stone then they mix the sort of animal fat or the egg fat into it it having the long lasting effect which we see in the green bed ka same thing for uh, brush for the brush handler they use the plant wax and for the brush they use hair of the either the hair of the sterile or the say 
So these are the some these are some techniques. Various color has been used, but these three colors are main in the beam bed carpet. 